Ever since the end of the last ice age, almost 12,000 years ago, this stretch of the Mississippi had been more than 50% forested islands. Changing water levels during floods brought sediments that enriched habitat for an incredible variety of life. Trees and shrubs, grasses, floating and submerged vegetation all thrived. Turtles found nesting habitat. And fish established spawning grounds in places where shallow floodwaters provided protection for their eggs. Vegetation nurtured by floods and their sediments was the perfect meal for ducks and other waterfowl that used the Mississippi as a migration highway. Deer, raccoons, mink, and river otters also called these islands home. And among all the wildlife, humans have lived in the area surrounding this spot on the river for nearly 12,000 years. In the area upstream of Dam Number 8, once a maze of islands and channels that teemed with life, more than 80% of the islands were gone by 1989. Wakes from barges and powerboats caused further erosion and increased the amount of sediment collecting behind the dams. All the changes made to the river in more than a century have taken their toll, but none more so than the system of locks and dams. Altogether, these changes were so extensive that some scientists began to fear that the Mississippi's incredibly rich ecosystem was in danger of collapse. By 1989, the Army Corps of Engineers, in partnership with other federal, state, and local agencies, had begun a project to help this failing ecosystem. Their idea was to find ways to mimic some of the river's natural processes. Building new islands that mimic the old, as well as occasionally lowering the water level upstream of a dam, began to return the river to its working ways. Mm -hmm. 